As I mentioned before, we spent the 4th of July weekend in Mountain View, Arkansas. And while we were there, we did a little antique shopping, junk shopping, and thrifting. Our first stop was at the Rainbow Antique Mall. And right inside the door was this very interesting contraption. I thought it was a doll high chair, but it says a child shopping cart. So I don't know if you're supposed to put the kid in there or the, it's for the kid to push with their doll in it. My granddaughter found this cute little tie that was fitting for the 4th of July. And then of course, I'm attracted to the Pyrex. And this was a beautiful set, but um, I'm not gonna spend $180 on some bowls that I won't use. Here's another set for $75. I have two sets similar to this, except they have a design on the front. I got them as wedding presents and I use them. Here's a throwback to our young married life also with a Pepsi pitcher and glass set. And of course, I always have to look at the beautiful old canning jars. Here's a tin Monopoly lunchbox and a lot of old glass apothecary jars, some beautiful crystal decanters. I use these for cooking oils and vinegars and they just make a beautiful display. Here are some lovely wind chimes made from old glassware. This is an interesting thing I found. It's marked as a baby bathtub for $145, but I also saw another one in this same shop here that's marked as a copper tub for $47.50, and I saw a third one in another shop marked as an old canner, and it was $50. I also love enamelware, and so these caught my eye. I especially like this rectangular pan here. I didn't get it, but I am thinking hard about it. If uh, next time I go to Mountain View, if it's still available, I just might pick it up. Here is an extra large Dutch oven. It's called a camping oven. And um, it was just very nice, $125. When I first saw this lamp, I thought it was iron. It's not, it's terracotta, but um, I got it anyway because it's $4. The next shop we went into is another one of my favorites. It benefits the Humane Society. I did not film in here because it's very small, but I got this um, indoor grill. It's a rival croc indoor grill. And it was $4. I have used it a number of times. It's in great shape. It looked like it had never been used and it works perfectly. I also got a lampshade for my $4 lamp and the lampshade was $3. And here it is in my house. If you watched my first thrifting video, you will see that I bought a little lamp from the Goodwill and put it there on that table but um, it kept shorting out, so I got rid of it. And I'm happy to have this one that's taller. Here's another of my favorite shops. I think every shop in Mountain View is one of my favorites. This is Nancy's Antiques. Her front window is just full of beautiful things. I buy a lot of old books and photographs to use in my junk journals. And she also has some lovely old linens that I use to make my purses. She rents out her top floor to visitors and her front door is plastered with posters of interesting things happening in and around Mountain View. If you ever get a chance to visit this town, Mountain View, Arkansas, I hope you will. There's always something going on. She has a display of hen in nest milk glass and they were priced 30 to 35 dollars which i think is an average price i looked on ebay and they all seem to be around that price there was also a display of some little 
um, ones she called chicks that are also the hen and nest just in a smaller size. They were $14 each. Here is a lovely display of old bottles and silver. She has so many beautiful things in this shop, but it got busy at this point and I wasn't able to film more. Here are the things that I purchased at Nancy's. I got these um, little postcards. They are reproduction and they were 40 cents a pack. I also got this little golden book, which was $4 and this old Baptist hymnal, which was $2. I got the little golden book to um, make a memory book of this summer for my grandchildren because we, of course, saw the bears here at our house and we went horseback riding, or they did, I didn't, <laughs> and to the playground. There are also pages about the zoo and other things that we did during the summer. So I'm going to use this book to make a memory book for them. You can see my memory books in other videos uh, and I will link those below. I got this old hymnal because it is like the ones that we had at the very first church that I attended when I was a very small girl. It's not from our church, but it's the same hymnal. The next day, I took my granddaughter thrifting. Our first stop was at a consignment shop in Mountain View, where she had the best time picking out clothes. She, of course, had to get this daddy shirt. And she chose a few other things. She has a very unique style and um, just had the best fun choosing clothes and trying them on. And um, these are all the things that we bought. She wore the little tutu skirt and top to um, dance at the courthouse that night, and she looked straight out of the 90s. Our next stop was a church thrift store. She found that sheet which matched a random pillowcase that she has at her house, so we had to get it. This um, store was another one that was very crowded. This 4th of July weekend, there were a lot of people in this small town, but we found some pretty things. I wish now that I had gotten that quilt because it's very cute and I do think it was hand stitched. We had fun just looking around and um, there were a lot of Christmas things out, which I could not understand, but when we checked out, the lady told us that it was Christmas in July, so they were putting all of their Christmas items out. We bought um, a few things at the store, her sheet and a few other things, and the total came to $3. I was really surprised. Nothing is marked in the store. So when you get to the checkout, I don't know how they figure out how much things are, but I was happy to get two bags of stuff for $3. And of course, we had to look through the cookbooks and the Old Reader's Digest and all the books that were there to see if there might be something interesting. Here are the items that we bought. Her sheet, of course. The black thing on the left is a slicer for tomatoes. The white thing next to it is a Pampered Chef multi-measuring spoon. I bought the old patterns and the writing book to use in my journals and crafts. And what would a day out with the grandkids be without a stop at the candy shop, which is also in downtown Mountain View. Thanks for shopping with us. See you next time.